NFC tags are awesome. Great, cool. Tag in my hand, I just scanned the back of my phone. And bam, there it is, NFC tags are awesome. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm gonna run you through the top differences between RFID and NFC and show you some awesome things that you can do with just an NFC tag and your smartphone. If you find this video valuable in any way, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Cool, so let's get into it. Starting with RFID, it's the process of uniquely identifying items using radio waves. Each tag has an antenna and a chip, and when they're brought close to an RFID reader, the RFID reader will then send power to the chip, and in return, it sends back a unique identifier. Once the RFID reader has this identifier, it can then choose to do something with it, such as open a gate or a boom or a door. This protocol is extremely common in secure building establishments or secure gated states where you can only get in if you have an access card. This form of RFID uses specifically 125 kilohertz frequencies. Now, because the frequency is quite small, that means that it can only measure around a few centimeters, but there are other frequencies that are high frequencies and ultra high frequencies that can do up to several meters. Now this is mainly reserved for doing things like counting uh, sheep or cattle or livestock in a massive field or even keyless entry into high-end vehicles. Now this is all that 125 kilohertz RFID tags really do. They're inherently quite dumb. All they have is a chip and a unique identifier on them. Once the RFID reader takes that ID from them, uh, it can then choose what to do depending on the application. Now let's move on to NFC tags. NFC stands for Near Field Communication and be, can be considered a specialized subset of RFID. Specifically, NFC is a branch of RFID that uses 13.56 MHz frequency as opposed to the 125 kHz frequency that we spoke about earlier. Now this is a bit where the confusion comes in. You see, NFC and RFID readers are not compatible in any way and neither are their tag loud counterparts and that's because they use completely two different frequencies. But that being said, since NFC is a faster frequency, it makes way for much more functionality. With NFC tags, not only can we store unique identifiers, but we can also store small bits of data. Now, it's not much, but you can store things like website URLs, business card details, emergency service details. Um, if you wanted, you can even put your Wi-Fi password on your card. And if a friend comes over and you don't feel like reading out an incoherent Wi-Fi password, you can just tap the back of his phone and it will connect him to your Wi-Fi. So as you can imagine, that opens up NFC tags to a ton of awesome business ideas and lifestyle choices that you can use with just a bunch of types of NFC tags. So NFC tags can be purchased from a bunch of different types of electronic stores, but that's not fun without having a NFC reader. Well, the good news is that almost all smartphones these days come with a built-in NFC reader, both Android and Apple. Now that's really, really good news because now we can start to do some awesome things with it. So let's have a look. Okay guys, so I'm on the desktop of my phone and I have an NFC tag in my hand. And if I put it against the back of my phone, it'll come up with a message that says a few things. And basically that means I've, it's got something, uh, it's found the tag and now it's asking me what to do with it. So if I just open new tag collected, it'll say exactly what's on this and I loaded it previously. It says, find me on all socials, Brain Martin. But now, if I want to write something else with this tag, all I have to do is open an app called NXP Tag Writer. If I wanted to write to these tags, I can do something like this. I can go write, I can say new data sets, and I have a bunch of options. I have business cards, I've got links, I can do the Wi-Fi thing I told you about earlier, uh, I can go Bluetooth, um, I can do plain text, I can even make it launch an application of my choice. I don't know why you would need that, but I mean, uh, it's there. Um, but what we're going to do for this example, I'm just going to put some plain text on here. So plain text, I'm going to enter some text, I'm going to say um, NFC tags are awesome. Great. Cool. Sounds good. So what we're going to do is going to save and write. Um, we just, we don't want to confirm over right now because that takes a while. And so it's ready to go. I just say write and it says Ready to store or share the selected content, just tap the card and it's going to go through. So put it on the back and write successful, no problem. So now I can just back to the main menu of my phone, the same tag in my hand, I just scan the back of my phone, open with and just say new tag collected and 
bam, there it is. NFC tags are awesome. So this can be substituted with things like I said, URLs or business details or contact details. Um, you can imagine if someone was in an emergency and um, the medics were not sure if the person is allergic to something or if they're what kind of medication they're on or if they're diabetic or whatever the case may be, they could have all the information maybe on a card and they can scan the back of the phone and that someone could see all the information on their phone. So, like I said, it opens up to a ton of cool and awesome ways to do different things. So, NFC tags don't just come in the form of a card, they come in the form of keychain tags, they come in the form of durable tags that can be placed into the back of metal plates and there's no problem about it. They come in the form of stickers, which is really cool, you can stick them on things and you can scan them as well. They come in the form of really small stickers. This is a 10 mil by 10 mil sticker, which is absolutely tiny, if you ask me. Um, and in fact, they even come in the form of a ring, which is totally crazy. That is an NFC, that's an NFC ring. And um, so you could put this on, I mean, I personally wouldn't, but you could put this on and then you could scan this ring and you could put details on it, which is really, really cool. I'll probably like to get a male version of it, but this is cool um, nevertheless. You even get RFID blocking cards, which is quite cool. So what these will do is, if you wanted to put these in your wallet, um, it might stop people from going past you and skimming your credit card credentials off your wallet. Now, that is important because um, just like all these cards, your credit cards also contain NFC technology. And... Uh, someone using a NFC terminal, they could actually walk past your wallet or your handbag and scan some of that details. Now, it doesn't happen all the time, but um, precautions have been made like this to stop that from happening. So, all right, that's it for me. If this helped, I'm really happy. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that you've seen in this episode, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.